everyone, it's uh, it's me here, Taco Definition. And today I have a Minecraft tutorial. As you can see, I have this blank wall. And uh, but when I come over here and I flip the switch, oh my God, a smiley face! That's right, folks. It's so amazing. It makes me throw eggs and make chickens be born on it. Poof, even the chickens are amazed. The smiley face. Now, in order to do this, it took <coughs> quite a bit of a... Actually, this isn't a large amount. It's actually a very quaint small amount. That's it. Now, I have a template here. So, I'm going to show you how to make this. So, in order to make it, you're going to make... You're going to need a bunch of redstone... Ignore the redstone torches. Um, a lever. Redstone repeater. Actually, I'd say a lot of redstone repeaters. Um, three, four, five, six, seven, seven sticky pistons. <coughs> and some cobblestone. So what you do is you first pick your template. In this case, I'm doing a smiley face. So what you do is you poke the holes in the wall first, which makes it the easiest, and then you put your sticky pistons one block behind the wall in your template form. So now once it's in your template form, you're going to move to the back, and you're going to go like this. You don't even need those, actually. Um, what I like to do is I like to first dig my redstone hole. <laughs> I said hole. Um, the redstone hole basically is just the hole that the redstone goes through from the lever to the, uh, to the circuit. So it, it goes like this. You just add it and then you can put it how close, how far away you want it. I like to put it sort of to the side so you can look at it from a side angle. But that's just my opinion. So then what you do is you wire your redstone, put your lever on top, redstone underneath, and because it's one block, redstone can actually travel through one block, so once I flip this lever, the redstone actually turns on. So I'm going to wire it a bit, and then what I like to do just to be safe is, I'd say like every 10 blocks, actually, I think that's more than 10. I like to put a repeater, because every 15 blocks, the redstone just cuts out, no more power going through it. So, I always like to be safe, put down a redstone repeater. Oops. So, once you come here, you're going to bring your wiring through. And it's going to go out like this. You're going to spread it so it becomes a giant T. And you're just going to put repeater, repeater, repeater. And you can put a delay on it on some of them, so some of them come up like later than others, like that, if you want to. And then, like... You bring it up like this. Oops, hold on. There we go. And then in order to reach these, <coughs> it's actually fairly simple. You just bring it up around like this. It's actually a very quick tutorial, I just realized that. But so, oopsies. Once you put this down, you might need to add a repeater right here. I don't think I need to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Excuse me, pig. You're making a lot of noise. Just to be safe. And then you do the same for this side. Uh, how did I do it on this side? I sort of, I, I'd like to make it symmetrical, just because it's easier that way. So then it brings out through. Oopsies, hold on. You need to make sure your repeaters go in the direction that you want your power to go through. So the one solid torch that stays no matter what, even if you go like this, so the left one right here, that's going to be the side you want your power to come out of. So say your power is coming from there and you want it to go to there, you have to make sure that 
the 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 solid torch goes toward the side you want the power to go out. Otherwise, it just won't go through the uh, repeater. It'll just stick and it won't go through. But so once you have placed, you can actually ignore these. I just sort of like to put them there for the delay. So once you have all of them, you can just hide this by going like this. And then block out the sides if you want, which I recommend doing. So people can like, you can like walk around it. And I'm actually thinking about making one where it's multiple sided. Doing a tutorial where like multiple sides come out. So like, you can just like block it off like this. So when you do it from your side angle, your front angle, or wherever, you don't see the redstone. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Then once you finally finish, or you put in your your template, you can just fill that back up. And then when you pull it, there you go, it all comes out beautifully. So what happens here is when you flip the switch, it all the power comes out, it hits the repeaters, and every time the repeater is set to a delay, uh, it delays the time it goes through the repeater and activates the piston. So this one's going to activate last, this one's active, going to activate, you know, second, and this one's going to activate first, because it's the closest to the uh, stable torch. Then it comes to here, I just have this one on normal speed, so as soon as it hits this, it's going to go right through and activate the piston. This one also, right through, hit the piston. Going to come up here, uh, I think I, yeah, I did put a delay on this one. And then... Uh, more of a delay here. I think this one's gonna activate first, but otherwise this one would. So then when you flip the switch, it all comes out perfectly. So you could do this in gold, you could do this in dirt, you could do it in anything, as long as you have all these supplies. So it, it's actually completely symmetrical the way I did it. So if you just count the number on one side, then you just need to know the amount on the other side. Then, what you can do, if you're really skilled, which I'm not, is uh, <coughs> you could add in a note block or two. So when it powers, it like activates. Like, like in Zelda, I guess. So like when you activate something, it's like doo -doo 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 -doo. you can do that in like a custom app. You can just be like, hey, I activated something. Yay! We completed the map. So this has been the the uh, moving wall tutorial. I guess I'll call it that. Though okay, I got it. Wall art tutorial. This has been Taco Definition. Signing out for the definitioners. Thank you. And have a nice 